Command Z to return into the edit format. So hello guys, this is the third part of tutorial how to make the car and uh, in last two sessions we arranged all the canvas and then we made the wheel. Today we're going to arrange all the wheels and start modeling the actual car. Okay, so where did we stop? You see, it seems I've changed uh, a little bit the color of the wheel. Yeah, I've changed it a little bit slightly darker. Now I have this like an exclamation mark and it says component is out of date. To update, get the latest in the design workspace. So basically you can leave it as it is and then just simply update and uh, whatever you will make changes to your wheels, they will be updated. But I will break the link just right here. I'll break the link so that it will be kind of separate file. Let's put it that way. Yeah. So right now also it's going to take some time because it's actually making the components right now in this file. Let's hide this sketch and I want to extend this part a little bit extrude which gonna takes a little bit time Okay, I wanted to extrude it somewhere until Let's say here Maybe one more inch. Yeah, oh, let's say four four is good Because uh, I was just practicing you know lately with all the modeling and everything for this tutorial and I saw that these wheels are, are very much like inside let's put it that way yeah I want them a little bit outside the way they're supposed to be because usually wheels they starting somewhere a little bit closer to the middle okay so now let's switch on our sketch and let's have a look no of course fusion didn't do this magic work for us so we need to arrange this wheel with our sketch so as you remember we do move copy then we select this point to point and here we select components components will be the wheel point to point so our let's hide this sketch for now so our first point will be this center okay and our second point will be our sketch point okay perfect exactly what i wanted so now what we have to do we just move copy uh, components one selected already so we're gonna create a copy and from let's say this point until this point let's try to select again will it allow us okay i'm afraid we will need to hide the sketch so one one more time we're gonna use this on the other side okay perfect uh, so we have create copy checked in okay everything good i press okay now as i've said we're gonna work with the planes so for that we're going to create mirror yeah because now we have our components moved a little bit we need to capture the position so i press capture position if i don't press capture position here will be two shapes and then i can return everything back usually they used in this case if we have something like uh, moving objects we move them a little bit and then we need to move them back so what we're going to mirror we're going to mirror components component one and component two that yeah, will wheel one and wheel two let's call it that way and then mirror plane we're going to select this plane and now all the magic will happen and voila we have wheels on the other side i hit ok so now basically we have all four wheels let's hide the origin from them here construction okay now i want to create one more component and just drop all the four wheels in this component so for that i will choose my very like main like a parent component let's put it that way and then i click here new component standard let's call it wheels all okay so now i select here i hold shift i select this way and i just drag and drop them in wheels all now when we need to switch off the wheels i mean hide the wheels we can do it just once we don't need to do like you know on and off and now this component is selected so we need to select back our original main parent let's call it that way component here we go okay so for now we can hide the wheels we can hide this sketch 
and we can turn on our canvas yeah let's switch to the front front view okay let's see with the wheels mm, okay good we have to enter create form function yeah so i press here that's it now we're creating form let's create sketch okay on this plane see it's asking us which plane we want to create sketch so i can choose either this one that or that so i choose this plane i make sure that my 3d sketch is off then i will draw a fit point spline and that will be from here another point will be here another point will be here another point will be here then here then here then here i will zoom in a little bit because here will be a little bit tricky like this and like that finish okay so that's going to be our first sketch line for the body modeling now i will have to extrude this sketch okay so i choose this sketch i switch to the front view oh by the way we need to move this car a little bit up but we'll do it later and then i move it mm -hmm let's say somewhere until the actual sides like like when it's gonna go into start so somewhere until here yeah okay we will have to choose uniform and 15 faces okay so we have 15 faces everything else is everything else is fine okay looks good let's see from the top view okay from the top view i think we can stretch it a little bit more so i double click i choose edit form and then with this arrow i'm just pulling it away a little bit mm, let's say like that okay now we need to make a shape of a car so let's choose from modify drop down menu insert point and then we need to choose where to insert our first point. So let's say here, then here, here, and just continue with the shaping of the actual car. Actually, we're gonna go a little bit away, somewhere like in between. Then we have a straight line here that will help us to put the dots. Okay, so whenever we place, we're placing a point, and as soon as we placed all the points, then the fusion will give us the line between those points. So now we can delete this. So I double click on the, this line, yeah? And then it selects the whole line and then I just press delete. So now we've deleted it. And now I double click one more time. I switch to the side view. We will need to enter in box mode. So box display. So I choose this box and I hit OK. Okay, so now we're in box mode. I double click on this line. I enter edit form. Then I press alt and dragging up all this sketch. Okay, looks good for me. I hit okay. And then we need to make the shape of a car. So I choose from modify drop down menu insert point and I start inserting points. So one will be here, then it will be here, and I'm just doing the top of the car. Okay, then I double click on this line and I press delete. Now I double click on this line and I press delete. So now we have this funny shape here yeah, that looks like our future car. <laughs> So let's just extrude, let's start extruding this until it becomes the actual car. Okay, so we enter edit form. Let's say I want here a little bit more. I press alt and I just extending this mm, somehow like that. Okay. Okay, now I double click here. 
then I look from the side view, I press Alt and I extrude this part, let's say this much. And now we need to make like a smooth shape, something like that. Then I press Alt, I extrude it one more time. Okay, then I, with this function, I'm making all straight. You can drag a little bit and then just type zero and it will become super straight. Actually, let's move this, this line a little bit slightly towards. As you see now, it's choosing all the way to the back. So I choose my first line, let's say this one, and then I go all the way to the front. I hold shift and double click. And now it choose from here until I was holding the shift. So let's say I want a little bit tilted like this and like that. Okay, now I double click here. No, sorry, on the line. Yep. And wait, somewhere, somewhere here the car starts go down. I mean like, you know, like making like a barrel shape. So I'll make one more. I press Alt and here we go. One more face. And then from the side view, we're going to round it up somehow like that. Okay, actually, let's move this sketch a little bit up because we really need it. So front canvas, edit canvas, and we're going to move it up. I need to find some references. So let's see from the side view. So let's say the middle of the wheel. Uh -huh. So you see, I'm aiming here like that. Yeah, somehow like that. Okay, now we can readjust our sketch a little bit. I mean our model. I hold shift. I enter edit form. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit closer, just like that. Then I will choose the whole line, I double click on it, somewhere here, then I double click on this line and I place it somewhere here, then I double click on this line and I will place it somewhere here, slightly down. Okay, so now looks like we have it pretty much in shape. Okay, let's delete this point. So then we have triangle, which is not recommended in Fusion to, in Fusion to have a lot of triangles. Now let me try... Da, 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 da. Okay, looks good. So now what we have to do, we have to create... Let me switch off the canvas, yeah. Now we have to create pretty much same body on the other side. For that we're going for symmetry mirror duplicate i choose this body i choose this plane right here everything you can see what i'm choosing i hit ok and from modify drop down menu i'm going to use bridge function so i choose bridge function i will choose side one i double click it will be the whole side you see it's slightly yellow then side two will be this side Let's see preview. Okay, so we need two faces. For now, two faces will be fine. Then we can insert more faces if we need. Okay, looks good to me. And I hit, okay. So this is the shape of our Ford Mustang. You can press Control 1, 2, 3 to switch between the modes. You also can do it from here. Let's say this body, I wanna see you see, it shows smooth display and then box display. The secret is the more beautiful is your box mode, yeah, box, let's say, model, the more closer it will be to the original. So now let's say I choose this shift and this, then it choose all the row, that's good. From here till here, good. From here till here. We will have to add some lines, but that we're gonna do in our next lesson. So for now, as you can see, 
we have this shape of our Ford Mustang. Let me switch on the canvas. Yeah. So from the side fits pretty pretty much good. From the front view also fits pretty much good. We can also switch on the wheels, you know, to see. <laughs> It's not the finish, of course, of the car. That's why I have so many parts coming up. But uh, for now, that's what we have. So basically, in a couple moves, we already made the shape of a future car. Okay, so now you can save your file. Mm, don't press finish form. If you press finish form, then just choose command Z because um, otherwise there will be like uh, this model and the model that you're making at the same time and it will confuse a little bit so command z to return into the edit form menu yeah okay so i hope i will see you in our next lesson uh, by the way i'm having now instagram so you can guys just uh, follow me on instagram uh, you can find it in about page on youtube and as usual like subscribe and so on Take care.